Hello. Um, this video is for Moorhead State University student housing students who will be um, selecting their roommate and or going through room selection. Um, we do have our dates posted for um, when you need to complete your application by in order to engage in specific dates um, for your classification. So we have some upcoming returning and transfer student selections for room selection. And we also have um, first year student room selection beginning at the end of April. So again, keep an eye on your email. Um, with that being said, um, the screen that you're seeing right now is your housing self-service portal. And so this is considered the home page. Um, up here, you'll see three lines and you'll click on that to complete your application. You'll click on applications and you will have significantly less applications to choose from, um, but there will be applications that are available to you to be able to fill out. Um, today, we're specifically going over returning housing application and or the first year student housing application, depending on if you are returning to campus or if you are coming back um, or if you are um, an incoming freshman. Our transfer students will also fill out our first year student housing application for a multitude of reasons. Um, but when you do fill out the first year housing application, if you are a returning student, um, make sure that you select that you are a transfer student or that you're a current MSU student if you've never lived with us before. Returning housing, make sure you're selecting that you're a current MSU student. So once you've completed those, you'll have access to the roommate selection. So let me go through and click that again. You'll hit room selection and then select roommates. Up here, you'll make sure you select the correct term, which is 2023 fall. Um, and then you'll be able to search for your roommates. If you know the name of your roommate, you'll type them in in these ter first two pieces. So again, this is the first name, this is the last name. And if you don't, you can select your preferences. So like I um, am an organized person, and so I specifically would like to find people that are organized. There's 82 other individuals that are organized. And so these are the people that have self-identified as organized and they're the ones you can search through. If you have no preference on all of these, you'll be able to again, go through and hit the begin search and you'll see that there's some students, there's about 122 students that um, you can select from. In order to select your students, there'll be profiles you can go through. You'll just hit request roommate. And then they'll come up here in your pending room requests. Um, this is a test account, and so I'm not going to select roommates, um, but it will be yellow until that person accepts you. Um, so you are not fully matched if that is labeled as yellow. If it's not yellow, then you are fully matched with the other individual. In order to pull somebody into the room, so like if I am selecting the room, in order for you to select that roommate to live with you, you have to be fully matched, okay? So for room selection, room selection is not open 24 seven. There are specific dates and times in which you must engage in this process. We do have about six opportunities prior to August for students to be able to engage in this process. We do believe that it's important for students to have the autonomy to be able to select the best room available that they are interested in. And so when it does become time, and you'll be able to see when I look at my home screen, right now, there is a room selection available to me. I can either hit the select room slash suite, or I can go into room selection and select room slash suite. Again, it will tell me that I am eligible in the, select, in the selection process, and it will tell me that I have until this time to complete my selection. I will repeat that because you do need to complete your selection by that time. If you look at the home screen, it will give you all of the, um, di the time blocks that you have to complete that. So for instance, most of the um, room selection opportunities are going to have three days in which you can do it from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You must complete your selection by 4 p.m. Um, if you go in, if you log in at 401 to select your room, it will no longer allow you to do so. So it's very important um, that you follow that, that time. So again, I'll go into the select a room. I'll see my roommate group. So I'll see that I'm in here um, and any of my other matched roommates that have fully matched. So again, they're not still yellow. So we fully matched. They have accepted me. You'll see them as well in here. If somebody is not 
showing up in your matched roommate group. It could be for a multitude of reasons. Feel free to reach out to us at the housing office. Um, many times it's because they didn't complete their application by the deadline in order to engage in this process. You'll go into the select room list and you'll search available rooms. So right now, um, this again, this is just a test account, so it's not showing all the rooms that would be potentially available. But for this student, for my test account, it's showing that I have a Nun Hall suite available, um, and it just goes through and it tells you what rooms are available. If I had, if I was um, connected to one other person, again, it would show me suites. If I had two people, so there were three people in my group, it would only show me rooms that have three empty beds available. And so you don't have to worry about making sure there's space for everybody. You'll go through and you'll select this room. You'll, so you'll see your name right here um, in whichever bed that you're in. Um, if there are already individuals in that space, then you will see only the spaces that you could be in. Um, you'll hit the submit room selection. And up here, you'll see congratulations. Your room selection process is complete. Your room assignment has been saved and you will receive a confirmation email shortly. If you just need that double verification, you can go back home. And you'll see down here, it'll say assignments. You'll see if you're a returning student, a 2023 spring assignment. And this would be your 2023 fall assignment. I will see that I am now in that room that I selected with my roommates. You will see when roommates, um, if there were roommates already in there, if there were students already in there, you'll see roommates in there. If you pulled other roommates in to be with you in that um, roommate selection opportunity, you'll see their names here, okay? And that is how you select your roommate and select your room for the 23-24 um, academic year. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at the Student Housing Office. Thanks.